Jesus on Jesus when he died on the cross. Power on God. Power to get up. Let the master set you free. Let the master bring his peace to you. You have got to make this your foundation. Power to Jesus love on the cross. Welcome again to Jesus This Answer Ministry broadcast. I'm Pastor Wild Scales. I tell you, we've had a glorious week in the Word of God. And I pray that uh, the Lord's been ministering to you. Uh, we've been teaching on the benefits of walking in love. And th this should be the most exciting, the most thrilling uh, uh, a message beside the blood of Jesus that you'll ever hear. It's living what Jesus did for you on the cross. And, and that, that what did he do? Well, he took your sins away. Well, then live that by taking other sins away. And live in you've been forgiven. How do you do that? Well, you, you fight thoughts that exalt themselves against what Jesus did for you. You bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus. Now, let's go back to 1 John, teaching on the benefits. Now, the benefits of walking in love. Beloved, verse 7, 1 John 4, 7. Let us love one another for love is of God. Everyone that loveth, see, loveth like Jesus loved you on the cross. See, like Jesus. No, 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 not, not, not a little bit of you. Not the best you can. Not try your hardest. And also, I'm going to pray for you all at, at the end of this service. Minister to you, those that need deliverance and those that are, are, are sick. I'm going to minister healing to you. And everyone that loveth is born of God and the Amplified Bible saying coming to know God progressively. He that loveth not uh, knoweth not God. You know, and so a lot of people have so many sayings and fables. Uh, 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 they, they say, well, I know God. But if you go back to 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 2, verse 3, hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. So, you, you know, you can't say you know him if you're not keeping his commandments. And his commandments is in 1 John chapter 3. Uh, Jesus gave this commandment. He said it out of his own mouth in John 15, 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I love you. First, uh, John 13, 34 a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. And then you come to 1 John 3, 20, uh, uh, 20, 23. John said, this is his, Jesus, commandment, that you believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave his commandment. And so if we say we know him and we're not keeping these commandments, listen to this. In verse 4, 1 John 2, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth of what Jesus talks in and did is not in him. See? But whoso keepeth his word, in him bear is the love of God perfected. So, anytime you're keeping his word, you're believing in his love, you're believing he forgave you, you're forgiving others. You're loving others as Jesus loved you. You're giving them mercy. Listen, the, the, the more uh, that you keep his word, it's the more of him you know. And the more of him you know, is you can, you can work this every day. Every day. And never allow the devil or the world to get you in the ark. That's when you're going to get away from Jesus and you're not going to walk in the benefits. Now, let me show you what, what I was teaching on earlier this week about marriage uh, in, in, in First Peter. Uh, Jesus taught me this. Um, in verse 7, likewise you husbands uh, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor to the wife as unto the weaker vessel, as being heirs together the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Now, the Lord, the Lord taught me this. Uh, and I was teaching it yesterday that, look, my, my wife is not my problem. And and, and uh, a lot of people always got problems with everybody. But really, saints, you are the problem of, of obeying Jesus. 
I don't care what nobody did. Jesus said, when you stand praying, forgive. I don't care what they did. And when you care, you keep cares of this world, the sickness of riches and lust of other things. Mark 4, verse, verse 18, 19, it chokes the word. It makes the word unfruitful. But the Amplified said, in the same way you married men, you should live considerably with your wives with intelligent recognition of the marriage relation. Honoring the woman is physically the weaker, but realizing that you are joint heirs of the grace, God's unmerited favor of life, in order that your prayers may not be hindered and cut off. Otherwise, you can't pray effectively. This really works for the woman, too. Finally, all of you should be of the one and self same mind, and united in spirit, sympathizing with one another, loving each other's brethren, of one household, compassionate, courteous, tenderhearted, and humble. Never return evil for evil. See, I read these every day for over 10 years. Never return evil for evil. You, you, you see, people's tongue and people's actions return evil for evil. Or insult for insult, scorning, scorning, tongue lashing, berating. But on the contrary, blessing, praying for their welfare, happiness, and protection, and truly pitying and loving them. But know that to this. You've been called that you may yourselves inherit a blessing from God, that you may obtain a blessing as heirs, bringing welfare and happiness and protection. See, see, whenever you live in Jesus' love, you are always putting yourself in a position for you to inherit a blessing from God. Every time you live his love, a blessing come with that every single time. And when you live in, in something else, then a curse will come, a, a, something that's not from God will come because you sold something that's not from God. I love verse 10 in 1 Peter 3. Let him who wants to enjoy life and see good days, good weather, apparently not, keep his tongue from evil and his lips from God, teach you to see. You know, a lot of people don't realize when you're focused on something you feel that's wrong, You, 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 your, your mind and tongue is on evil. And, 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 and people just get used to their mind being on evil. They don't even know it. They're not even inheriting a blessing from God. <clears throat> and, and, and so you want, your, you want your tongue away from guile, teachery, and deceit. God wants us to be peacemakers. And, 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 and so you, you're going to be a peacemaker the way you think and the way you talk and the way you act. A lot of people, uh, they, they bring division among the brethren. They, 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 they keep things on their mind that's wrong instead of Jesus and who he is and what he did. And, and so let, let him turn away from wickedness and hate it, do right. Search for peace, harmony, undisturbance from fears, agitating passions, moral conflicts, and seek these things eagerly. Do not merely desire peace with relations with the Father, but with your fellow men. I put this in there, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and, and myself. Amen. <clears throat> and, and, um, and with yourself, pursue, go after them. Go after fellowship with the Lord God, the, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, yourself, your, your, your brothers and sisters uh, in Christ for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. Those who are upright. Now, 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 when I read this, I said, Father, I thank you that your eyes are on me. Your ears are open to my prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who practice evil to oppose them, to frustrate and defeat them. So what, what Jesus taught me any time in my life, I'm frustrated. I, I'm, 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 I'm distressed. I'm bothered. I don't have peace from Jesus. I'm not walking in love. I'm not enjoying the benefit of walking in love. And, and, and people don't even realize. They don't even realize. They're, they're not in the benefits of walking in love. Because when you walk in Jesus' love, there is nothing troubling you at all. Because ain't nothing troubling in Jesus' love but God. Hallelujah. And so... So the face of the Lord is against those who practice evil to oppose them, to frustrate and defeat them. So whenever you have areas of you living in that ain't Jesus, you always going to find frustration. 
you're going to be opposed by God's love and, and, and you, you, you're going to uh, be defeated every time when you live in envy and jealousy and strife every time that I, I got like this years ago I never seen the benefits and blessings of the Lord till I repented and got that strength so see I, I done walked in this so many years now since 1988 that that I, I don't allow frustration, distress. I don't I don't live in areas I'm being defeated in. Uh, now who is there to hurt you if you are Zayas follows of that which is good? But but even in case you should suffer uh, for the sake of righteousness, look now. See, anytime you suffer it for the sake of righteousness, for doing what's right in God's eyes, doing what Jesus told you to do. Anytime you are suffering, when you ain't hurt people, you ain't uh, misled people, you ain't, you ain't done that. Listen, you are blessed and happy to be envied. So you can see when people are coming against you, you're being envied. Do not dread or be afraid of their threats, nor be disturbed by their opposition. But in your hearts, set Christ apart as holy, and acknowledge him as your Lord. Right in the midst of, of persecution, of troubles, and, and, and being and the devil and people coming against you, you want to acknowledge Jesus as your Lord so the Lord can tell you what to do. Always be ready to give a logical defense to anyone who asks you to account for the hope that's in you and do it courteously and respectfully. And see to it that your conscience is entirely clear and unimpaired so that when you are falsely accused as evildoers, those who threaten you abusively and revile your right behavior in Christ may come to be ashamed of slandering your good lives. And so a lot of times you can't worry about how people, I just keep loving people. Uh, some people I had to separate from. But 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 I love them from a distance and until they repent, I can't I can't get back in fellowship with them. And and, and 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 still I don't I don't I don't have nothing bad to say about I have to come against what what's wrong to teach God's people. Saints, uh look look at Colossians. Let me, let me read this. Colossians uh chapter three, verse ten. The benefits of walking in love. Verse 10 says, and you have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Man, let me just read this in the New Living's translation. They got a, a new living, but it ain't it ain't this one, the first edition. Uh, I wish they could download this one. I'd have been done done it. But thank God for my Bible. Now, listen carefully. In its place, you have clothed yourselves with a brand new nature. See, that's why you these preachers telling you you got to get yourself together. Uh, you need to think good about yourself. They don't even realize you're a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new in the new creature. They're not getting you to believe and speak who God done made you, what God have done for you, what God have put in your spirit. I, I, don't, I don't understand. They're not helping people. They think that's they're, they're encouragers, but they're really just motivational speakers. They're, they're not preaching the good news of what Jesus did, and he's already made you perfect in your spirit. Live that man out. Believe and speak who Jesus is. Believe and speak what Jesus said. Believe and speak what Jesus said. Do and then do it. In this new life, Colossians 3.11, New Living Translation. It doesn't matter if you're a Jew or Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric or uncivil. It don't even matter about yourself. Slave or free, Christ is all that matters and he lives in all of us. Did you get that? Christ is all that They They think self matters. They, they think, you know, they got books out. All these ways to have a better you. I don't want a better me. I, Jesus got rid of me. I want Christ. I want his perfect life. I want his glory, his spirit, his pace, his joy, his strength. I don't want none, nothing from me. Amen. That's good preaching, Pastor Cass. Since God chose you to be the holy people whom he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy. Put this on every day. 
kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. You must make allowance for each other's faults and forgive the person who offends you. Remember, say it out loud with me, remember the Lord forgave you. So you must forgive others. And the most important piece of clothing you must wear is love. Hallelujah. Love is what binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are all called to live in peace and always, listen to this last part, be thankful. So you're not going to never live in Jesus' peace. You show me people who ain't thankful, I'll show you people who don't live in peace every day. You got to stay in Jesus' peace. You always stay thankful. Thankful for what, Pastor Skiff? For what the Lord did for you on the cross. How Jesus loved you. Now let's get ready to close in Psalm uh, 103. Uh, and I quote this daily. And I pray you, you, you'll start one, verses 1 through 5. Uh, the writer here, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. God want us to continually remind ourselves by the Holy Spirit helping us. He want us to continually remember and meditate on his benefits day and night. He don't ever want us to go through no tests and trial. He don't want us to go through no troubles and forgetting his benefits. Hallelujah. And here they are. Here they are. You, you, when I counsel people, that's the first thing you ought to ask them is, have you forgot Jesus' benefits? Because they have. Anytime you see people stressed, anytime you see people troubled, anytime you see people not happy, not full of joy, not smiling, not full of strength, the strength of God, you can absolutely depend on they don't forget Jesus' benefits. Don't forget them. Now, once you remember, oh, oh, yeah, I know that. Uh-uh, you ain't. Listen, they're not thankful. You got to talk this every day. You got to speak this every day. You got to get around people, get away from rounding people that, that's talking negative. They, they always want to talk about what's wrong. The devil done got inside their mind and all they want to talk about is what's wrong. What they don't like. What's bothering them. But that's not Jesus. Mm. No, I'm not going to forget his benefits. Hallelujah. Here they are. Who forgiveth all my iniquities. Well, and see, in my Bible, I got on the cross through his blood. I ain't never finna forget the Lord took all my sins away. I ain't never finna forget how much the Lord loved me while I was yet a sinner. Christ died for me while I was wrong about everything. And if Jesus died for me when I was wrong about everything, surely he loved me today. If I'm going through something, if I've missed it in something, if I came short in something, if the Lord, listen, and, and, and if the devil coming against me, I ain't never gonna forget his benefit that nothing in all creation, life can't, the devil can't, all my worries about today or all my fears about tomorrow. I know one thing is that I will always have the benefit to forget those things which are behind. I ain't gonna let you or the devil bring up my past. I know I've been washed in the blood. I know the Lord done sanctified me, filled me with the Holy Ghost. I belong to him. I'm his child. I bow down to his lordship every day. Whatever Jesus tell me to do, I always do. Where he tell me to go, I always go. Whatever he tell me to say, I always say it. I will not forget that the Lord is on my side. If God be for me, who can be against me? I'm going to keep this in my mouth that Jesus have loved me 
with an unconditional love and called me to love you the same way that he loved me. And saints, I'm telling you, no matter what I go through in life, no matter what I face in life, I ain't never going to forget that the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, is my peace. He is the one when I was in this world on crack and cocaine and heroin, when I had no hope, I was without God, I was without hope, but I called upon the name of Jesus and the Lord came on the inside of me, cleaned me up on the inside, washed me white as snow, cleansed me of everything I ever did and said, now my son, go and tell the world what I done did for you. And bless God, I've been doing it ever since. I've been telling folks. And now in my life, the devil can't handle this. When you bless the Lord, you bless the Lord. How, Pastor Scales? How do you bless the Lord? By reminding him of his benefits for you. Who forgiveth all my iniquities through the blood of Jesus. Who healeth all my diseases by his stripes on the cross. Who redeemed my life from destruction and crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies. And he satisfied my mouth. Woo! Glory to God, I got happy with good things. Honey, my mouth talking about good things. Oh, you can't talk about no good things to talk about what's wrong. No, I'm talking about the blessings of the Lord, the goodness of God. When I was bound, he made me free. When I was sick, he healed me. When I didn't know what to do, he showed me what to do. When people came and did me wrong, Jesus came and comforted me and lifted me up to go love them and be a blessing to them. I ain't been to forget. Those benefits. I'm going to keep this stuff in my mouth every day. The goodness of God. The goodness of God. There's somebody watching today. You never gave your life to Jesus. Never. You, you believe in it. But you never gave your heart to him. You never repented of your sins. You know you're not living right. You know your life don't please the Lord. But Jesus, his arms is open to you today to come. Come. He won't turn his back on you. The Bible said if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. For with your heart, you will believe and with your mouth, you're going to say, I'm saved. I'm forgiven. Jesus has took all your sins away. Only one sin. But the, I wish preachers would preach this. But there's only one sin that God's holding against everybody in the world. And that's rejecting Jesus. That's not accepting what he's already done for you. You can't, you can't confess all your sins to get saved. Can you remember them? You need to know he's forgave you. And the one sin that you ain't forgiven of is unbelief. And once you take care of the unbelief and you come over to the believing... Now you have eternal life. And that believing is not one time. You continue to believe and it changes the way you live because you've repented. And you don't have excuses to keep living wrong. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe God sent you on this earth to show me his love. I believe in my heart when Jesus died on the cross, he took my sins away. And on the third day, I believe in my heart, God's mighty power raised Jesus from the dead. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and save me and change me and give me eternal life. I repent of my sin, the sin of unbelief. I repent, Lord, and turn from darkness to light. From the power of Satan, I turn to God's power to deliver me. Now I receive forgiveness. I receive. My sins are forgiven forever. I believe that. I'm going to say that every day. Jesus took my sins away. And from this day forward, I declare it. And I'm going to declare it public. I belong to Jesus. I live for him now. He's the one I serve. I will not be ashamed. Say it out loud. I will not be ashamed to share this with anybody about Jesus and who I serve now. Say thank you, Lord Jesus, 
I believe. I'm saved. I believe. And I'm your child. And I'm going to live like it. So I'll have fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Now y'all that are sick out there, that are bound, that are on addictions, you smoke cigarette, drink, smoke, whatever addiction you have, whatever habit you have, point your hands to the screen. All y'all that have sicknesses in the hospitals, you're at home, you're bed fast, you can't get up, you're getting ready to get up. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be healed in your bodies. Be healed and made whole of every plague. I loose you from that infirmity in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray for those that are bound and addicted. I pray right now by the Spirit of God, I bind those devils and I loose you. I command you, Satan, to loose them in Jesus' name. Now, now say out loud, I will fight the thoughts that come against my mind to try to take me back. Say it out loud. Say, I will take Jesus' name and use his name to make the thoughts from devils leave. So I'll never live like that again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Also, I, I want to invite you all to Jesus is the answer church. Saints, y'all need to come. And, and uh, we're in Watertown. Listen, call this number, 615 615- 237-9802. Call that number. Get directions. Come to the church. You can go on our webpage, robertscamministry.org, and get directions to come say, so I can teach you and grow you up and make real disciples. It, it, just because you go to church don't mean you're a disciple. So I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Come and receive so you can grow and, and you can live in this. Amen. Also, I want to make available this six CD series, um, the, the Benefits of Walking in Love. Uh, on the screen is our address for love gift of $30 or more. Make your checks and money orders to Jesus, His Sons and Ministries. Post Office Box 292112, Nashville, Tennessee, 37229. And, and Saints, I, 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 if, you, if you order these, I'll send you a free copy of my book, The Believer's Guide to Christ which is absolutely a blessing for people that, that's been walking with the Lord and those definitely who have not been. This will, this will put you on the right track and it will really be a blessing to your life. So order these today and I'll send you a free copy of that book. Also, you can go to robertscalesministries.org and you can go on there and see our catalog and, uh, and you'll be blessed. Also, I want to thank my friends and partners. Thank you so much for your financial support. I love you. I'm praying for you. Thank you for helping me to continue to preach Jesus and get crucified. Well, my prayer for you is you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God. From Jesus and his ministry, I'm glad to love the Remember now, the new commandment is as I love you on the cross, go live that love toward everybody despite how they are. Have a blessed weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.